Okay, and on to blue, another cool color. Blue is also a relaxing color, not quite as relaxing or easy to process as green, but very close. And it's, it's a cool color in every sense of the word, um, but it also kind of, it's associated a lot of times with the sky and with water, but also snow and ice. And just by looking at blue, you might physically feel colder. I know I do, but um, it has a temperature to it. And, uh, but it's also a very good color for concentration. So for you students who have exams coming up, blue, if you were to study in a blue room, you'd actually be able to concentrate better and you might even retain more information. Now this is an aside, but if you chew on, if you're eating popcorn while studying, the crunching of the popcorn actually stimulates uh, the synopsis in your brain so you'll retain more information. And I know that had nothing to do with blue. So let's move on to the next image. Blue is also associated with emotion. Uh, we talk about feeling blue or sad, depressed. Um, so it, if you're dealing with any of those emotions, you might do well to incor incorporate blue into your designs, your video, etc. Um, but hang on a minute. Here we go. Okay, I apologize if this is disgusting to you. This is an image of Thanksgiving stuffing that has gone bad. I think the name of this image is something like behind, behind the pickles in the refrigerator. Um, the reason I'm showing you this disgusting blue uh, mold is because blue is the least appetizing color. Do not make the mistake that many of my students make when they're designing for food-related posters, contests, magazines, and use blue as a background image because whatever food you're trying to highlight is going to appear revolting. You may even make your viewer nauseous. Um, it's actually good though if you're on a diet and you don't want to eat too much, putting your food on a blue plate, you're less likely to eat overeat. But um, the reason that blue is so revolting in relation to food is that in nature, uh, there are very few places where we find blue naturally occurring in foods, unless you know you want to count blueberries. But usually when we come across blue on our food, it means that it has gone bad and um, we do not want to put it in our mouth. We will get sick. Maybe we'll even die. I definitely don't want to eat this. Um, actual studies have been done where um, different control groups were given mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes that um, were dyed with food coloring. The control group that had the blue colored mashed potatoes ate the least out of all the other groups. So the red mashed potatoes, no problem. Yellow, no problem. Blue, problem. I personally, that's why I'm against, you know, when um, ketchup companies or other condiment companies try to come out with, you know, blue ketchup, purple ketchup. It just really looks disgusting. Maybe children like it though, I don't know. Blue is a color associated with service. And so um, you'll notice, and that actually goes back to ancient Greece. If you think about um, people in the police force, um, doctors, nurses, all of those um, uniforms are usually blue, actually meant to talk about studying with this image, but that's okay. But um, blue is also considered a very um, trustworthy color. Here we go. Uh, UN workers, um, United uh, Nations Public Service Forum. You'll notice that actually a lot of um, politicians and diplomats would not go anywhere without their blue suits, blue ties. You notice actually the woman in the center stands out so much because she's wearing an orangey red color. So blue is a color associated with public service and with loyalty. Um, blue is also a color where when we look at someone wearing blue, we perceive that person to be um, trustworthy. They are competent. We trust them to be able to do a good job. And so that's why it's a really great color to wear for a job interview. This um, image for, this is supposed to be for what will you wear for your job interview. I wouldn't recommend Mindy wear either of those two outfits for a job interview. The one on the left is too casual, probably. The one on the right, she might come off as crazy. 
but um, blue is a wonderful color to wear for a job interview and if you wear this color I'm talking about navy blue dark blue it will give you that very slight psychological edge I talk about this much more in depth in another one of my um, lectures in this course specifically about what to wear to the job interview but uh, just very briefly you will come off as the more competent candidate assuming that all qualifications are equal across candidates it will give you that slight edge in the job interview and ah, I zoomed way too far out hang on come back okay and um, the opposite, as we said before, of blue on the color wheel is orange. So I'm just uh, focusing on this uh, little meme graphic because uh, the color of his hair makes this image pop at you. If his hair were any other color, it would be a less pleasing, less uh, interesting image to be looking at. And finally, the way that I use a blue, I use a lot of blue in my work. This is. Um, a still image from a recent animation that I completed called This Too Shall Pass about the extreme highs and lows of parenting young children and actually had a touch, uh, thankfully just a touch of postpartum depression um, and I was trying to in this animation to um, portray my emotional state which was constantly changing so in this particular scene the baby is crying on a crowded city bus and I'm very paranoid and um, I'm using a lot of blue to kind of convey that depression or sadness, at least in this particular scene.